The Guam Power Authority has a lot of experience working vertically, supporting power poles and distribution towers that reach several stories high, as well as feeder lines and bucket trucks that go skyward to maintain them. But your utility agency is now getting a bird's eye vantage point using drones to inspect its infrastructure more safely, rapidly, and accurately than ever before. I think it's a wonderful use of technology. I think that I've been in office for about 20 years and before you have to have these bucket trucks for people to do visual inspections. So to have GPA using technology, using drones to inspect the monotubes that are all the way from the top of the hill there in the mountains, all the way down to Aganya Springs, which go through Mong Mong and then to Mighty, and I'm not even sure where they go lead to from there, but I, they've been in the village for a few days already, and it's been amazing to see. GPA explains how the job site, as high as 70 feet up, was an assessment of the poles for structural integrity, impacts due to nature, and overall health. Now, with a team of two, they can go up there and inspect the, the asset. We're looking for different types of, um, whether it be rust or any type of, uh, you know, corrosion or things like that of, of, uh, within the poles. So that we can exploit as much data as we can. You know, we're using it for the mayors. We just had a meeting with them yesterday and they really enjoyed the product that we, we have from using the GIS. And we just kind of, you know, showed them some of the other stuff. We do the, the drone as well as a 360 camera. This is a massive step forward for an agency where the rule for its workforce is safety first. The drone operators go out and, and look, study the site look for launch uh, and recovery sites, an alternate site. They go in and get clearance from FAA. They go in and get weather conditions. So it's a really, really robust concept of operations before we, so it's mission planning that they're doing, right? And it's, uh, you're right, it's safety is, is uh, we, we put out signs, um, we have a spotter, and part of the rules is having line of sight it all depends on the weather. It depends on how many batteries we have. It depends on, you know, the... I think you get a lot of poles done. I would say for one battery, we're going to take an imagery for each pole. You get roughly 20 poles. So the Guam Power Authority is using technology in the right way, making sure that it saves the agency itself and you and me money to provide the best service. And as far as the municipal leader whose village benefits from GPA's work, Mayor Robert Hoffman says it's a very progressive step forward in public service. It doesn't impede traffic anymore. It doesn't hurt anybody, it doesn't bother anybody, and they just know it's up there. So we ask our residents, you know, one, observe it, it's pretty cool to watch. And number two is just don't shoot them down. Don't think it's one of them drone things that you've been seeing happening in the United States or in New Jersey and everything. This is not, this is a government program. And so I really appreciate the use of technology. We're doing still photos and video, you know, in 4K. Uh, with that, we can, uh, have the engineers review it and then they can uh, do their assessment. So with that, you know, you just save so many resources. The mayor also says unmanned aerial vehicles are being used progressively in other applications throughout his village. We've seen other drones here, uh, but we're sure there are other from, I know that UOG has been doing some surveying uh, for some companies as well. We met with UOG and the Drone Corps folks a few weeks ago, and they also told us, hey, we'll be, when we're gonna be in your village, we'll let you know, we'll be flying, we're gonna be surveying plots. Sometimes realtors get them, and sometimes realtors just do it on their own to showcase a house and a location and area. So I think I just, it's really cool to see that kind of technology. I've, I would never thought I would see that in my lifetime. But to maximize the value of any tech is to get reuse value out of it, and Mr. Mayor has an idea of what may become of the lines reaching from the Agania Heights pipeline all the way down to Agania Springs. I've asked that they leave it up for zip line, which I think would be really fun and cool to do from the mountain down all the way somewhere, but uh, it's a different story. There's a bunch of liability.